Welcome to a demo of Alex Seeds Connect. There are four main screens for Connect. There's the Contacts, similar to that used elsewhere on the iPhone. There's the Rolodex, which lists your contacts by organization name. There's the Settings and the Keypad. First, let's set it up. We need to go to the Settings tab so we can configure your local area codes. As an example, we'll set up for the Toronto area. So we will click on the Add button and enter the area code 416 and then press Add. We're going to repeat that for 647 and 905. You might also want to add 800 and 888 for the toll-free numbers in your area. Now, we're going to want to add a phone card. This will be used for all calls outside your local area code. So let's add a new phone card. First, let's name the card. This can be the name of the provider or maybe an appropriate nickname. At this point, we enter our PIN number. So we now need to set up the card's phone number. We can set up one per location, which, depending on your carrier, could save you money while on the road. Now we'll set up the dialing sequence. This will allow the phone to dial through the automated menu. Because pauses between each step in automated menus are assumed, we should only add an additional pause if there is a notable delay between each of the steps. Let's add a menu entry. For example, the first step prompts for language. Enter 1 for English. Now we can rearrange the order of our menu entries. If you've already entered the PIN, as we have, the PIN has shown up here automatically. If you haven't entered the PIN by this point, the PIN field will be empty and you can enter your PIN here. Save this card by hitting Done. Back at the main settings page, we can now choose our default card or choose not to use a card. There's also an option to use the card for all area codes. Now that we're set up, let's go to the Contacts tab. Let's call John Appleseed. Just as you would in the phone app or in the contact list, you can view your contact. Let's call him on his mobile. Because the area code is not within our local area code, we will call the phone card first and then dial John's number. And that's how we dial long distance. There's one more feature available within Alexeeds Connect. Let's go to the Rolodex tab. What you are seeing here is a list of all of our contacts organized by company. Now, I'll show you the power of this feature. We can create two types of users, a regular contact and an automated contact, which calls a company directory or a phone that has an automated menu. Let's add a regular contact. You enter in the contact information here. It's important that you list the company's name here, and that name is identical for all contacts within that company. Now, now Alex has two phone numbers, a cell phone and a work extension. So let's add them both. For the extension, we're just going to enter the extension itself. We will be able to call him directly after we set up the automated contact. Let's add an automated contact. This is our custom company creation screen. First, we'll enter the company name. Make sure to use the identical name that was used for your other contacts. Now let's edit the switchboard sequence to take us through a business switchboard. First, we set up the company phone number. Then, we add menu entries such as one for staff. As with the previous setup sequence, we can arrange the menu entries as desired. Press done to finish. Lastly, we can enter an operator number so that you may reach an operator if you so desire. Press Done to finish. Now that we have set up contacts in the Alexeed organization, we can connect to them directly within the application. It should be mentioned that if you have an organization which is long distance, it will call your calling card first and then connect you through the menu. Let's try calling Alex's work extension. This has been a tutorial of Alexeed's Thank you for your purchase.